Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen. So, nandito na naman tayo sa panibago natin ngayon. So, ang topic natin ngayon ay English System of Measurement. This system of measurement was developed when people used to measure things using their body parts. Like their, ha their feet and everyday household items like a cup. English system of measurement, ang ginagamit natin yan pag distance, inches, feet, yards, miles. Pag weight naman, pounds, ounces, tons. Kapag capacity naman, that is cups, pints, gallons. Kapag time naman, we have seconds, Minutes, hours, days, months, years. The main units of English measurement system are related by conversion facts. For example, 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. 16 ounces is equal to 1 pound. So English system of measurement, common conversion facts. So, pag length, ang conversion niyan, 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. So, yung isang ruler na mahaba, o yung, yung ginagamit natin sa school na, na ruler, yung isang ganon ay is equivalent to 1 foot. And then, 3 feet is equivalent to 1 yard. So, tatlong ruler, 1 yard na yun. And then, 5,280 feet is equal to 1,760 yards and then equal to 1 mile. Yan yung length. Pagdating naman sa weight, we have 16 ohms is equal to 1 pound and then 2,000 pounds is equal to 1 ton. Pag capacity naman, 2 cups is equal to 1 pint and then 8 pints is equal to 1 gallon. Pag time naman, 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute, 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour, 24 hours is equal to 1 day, 12 months is equal to 1 year. So we have here steps on converting units. So how do we convert units to another unit using the English System of measurement. Steps on how to convert unit. Conversion is usually done from one unit to another. For example, how five yards five yards is equal to fifteen feet. Paano do naging yung five yards a equal to fifteen feet. So paano ba yun? So ibig sabihin, iko convert natin yung five yards para makuha natin yung 15 feet. So, 5 yards to feet. So, step 1. Find a conversion factor. So, ang gagamitin natin ay yung yards at saka feet. So, hahanap tayo dun sa conversion. Kaya kailangan nagkopya kayo ng conversion units na binigay ko kanina pag sa length, sa weight. So, kaila, para malaman natin kung ano yung mga units o yung mga desired units na pwede natin gamitin. Since ang hinahanap natin ay yards and feet, so, kunin natin yung conversion na 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. So, 3 feet over 1 yard. So, yung nasa ibabaw, yun yung desired unit o yung kailangan natin na unit. Tapos yung Nasa baba, yun yung given. Next. So, meaning, 3 feet over 1 yard is equal to 1. Kasi, 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. Step 2. Multiply the original measurement by the conversion factor, then simplify. So, 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. That is the conversion factor na kumuha natin kasi kailangan natin is yard Feet. So, yung 5 yards, kasi ang co-convert natin 5 yards to feet. 
Okay. So, 5 yard times sa ibabaw yung desired natin, which is feet, kaya doon natin ilalagay yung 3 feet. Tapos, yung 1 yard, nilagay natin sa ilalim. Bakit kasi? Bakit ganun? Itatapat natin pag pag ganyan, no? Pa slant. Kasi, ikakancel natin yung yard para matira na lang yung feet. And then, 5 times 3 feet, 5 times 3 feet over yung natira dito na 1. So, 5 times 3 is equal to 15 feet. So, ibig sabihin, 5 yard is equivalent to 15 feet. Okay, we have here examples. So, ang importante na meron kayong kopya ng mga conversion factors natin. So, number one example, convert 48 inches with feet. So, ibig sabihin, ang kailangan natin na conversion is inches and feet. So, 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. Yan yung pinuha nating conversion factor. So, since 48 inches, ipoconvert natin into feet. So, ilalagay natin yung 48 inches times Yung nasa itaas, dapat yung desired natin o yung, yung pinaka-convert, anong unit. Tapos po, so since yung feet yung gusto natin nasa ibabaw, so 1 foot over 12 inches. So, ikakancel natin yung mag-aslant ng inches para matira na lang yung foot. Pag isa lang, foot. Pag marami, feet. So, 48 times 1 foot over 1 times 12. Kasi kapag whole number, automatic over 1. So, 1 times 12 yan. So, magiging 48 feet over 12. So, 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4 feet. So, 4 feet yung magiging sagot natin. So, 48 inches is equivalent to 4 feet. Okay, example number 2. Convert to miles with inches. So, ang kailangan natin ay miles and inches. So, tingnan ulit natin yung conversion factor. Kung ano yung pwede natin gamitin para makonvert natin yung miles into inches. So, ang gagamitin natin ay 2 miles is equal to 5,280 feet. E ang kailangan natin inches. So, gagamit pa tayo ng another conversion factor which is 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. So, dalawang conversion factor yung gagamitin natin. So, una, ilalagay mo yung 2 miles. So, isusulat mo yung 2 miles times 5,280 feet yung nasa ibabaw kasi yun yung uh, desired unit natin. Then, yung sa baba yung event. Then, uh, 12 inches kasi inches ang kailangan natin. Then, 1 foot sa ilalim. So, ito yung ginawa natin yung desired unit and ito yung event. Then we will cancel the units na nagdoble na. And then yung natira, 2 times 5,280 times 12 inches. And then sa ilalim, 1 times 1. And then, if we multiply this 3, makukuha natin ay 126,720 inches. Okay. So, meaning, 2 miles is equivalent to 126,720. Okay, we will proceed to example number 3. Kim rode a hot air balloon across the ocean. She was on the balloon for 3 days. How many seconds was she on the balloon? Okay. So, ito yung hot air balloon kung makikita ninyo. So, nag-travel siya dyan for 3 days. And then, kung convert natin yung 3 days into seconds, ilang kayang seconds yung 3 days? Okay. So, hanap tayo ng conversion factor niya. So, 1 day is equal to 24 hours. Eh, wala pa rin seconds, di ba? So, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. And then, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, Tatlong conversion factor yung gagamitin natin para ma-convert natin yung 3 days into seconds. 
So first, we will write three days times. So since days to, it, yung day na one day na to, ilalagay natin sa ilalim, then yung 24 hours, yun yung nasa ibabaw. Kasi yun yung desired units natin. So magiging tura niyan, 24 hours over one day. Since hours yung nasa ibabaw nito, so dito yung nagagamitin natin conversion factor, nasa ilalim yung one hour, and then nasa ibabaw si 60 minutes. And then after, the one minute naman yung nasa ilalim, and then yung 60 seconds nasa ibabaw. So kailangan yung desired natin, o yung ipoconvert natin, yung kailangan makuha natin units, ay laging nasa ibabaw. Okay, so ikakancel natin yung mga doubling units, hours, days, and then minutes. So natira na lang yung seconds. So 3 times 24 times 60 times 60. And then over 1 times 1 times 1. So pag binultiply ko yung 3 times 24 times 60 times 60 seconds, ang makukuha ko ay 259,200 seconds. And then, 1 times 1 times 1, 1 na yun. So, meaning, that is whole number. Wala tayong i-divide. So, the answer is, Kim was on the balloon for 259,200 seconds. So, yan yung equivalent na. So, yan po yung magta-travel ni Kim using the hot air balloon. So, Sana kaya ko rin mag-travel ng ganyan. <laughs> okay, so thank you and God bless. Bye!